Hi, this is my second capstone project and I have worked with K-means machine learning model, which is the most popular model uh, for unsupervised learning category. And I worked on Facebook stock data from 2017 to 2022. I started by importing the required libraries and then I uploaded our data set. I read the data set to Pandas data frame. Here we have some data understanding. We have price columns and the volume column. Uh, if we look at our data set, we see that we have 1,258 entries and seven columns. All the columns are full and non-null. By looking at the data type, we realize that all the price columns have data type of float. The volume has integer data type, uh, but date has object data type, which here I converted it to pandas date time. And then I set that date column to uh, index of our data frame. Here I dropped the adjusted close column because it was repetitive, the values was the same as the uh, close column. Here I checked the missing value and duplication, which we don't have. By running this scribe, we can uh, check the mean and max value of all the prices. Okay, now let's visualize our data and uh, see what we have in our data set. We have time series here. The first plot is a price chart and the second one is vol a volume bar chart from 2017 to 2022. We have another scatter plot here. This is scatter plot, uh, plot uh, shows the relation between open price and the differentiation between close and open price, which we can call it uh, price growth in dollar. As you can see here, for uh, some of our data points, the value is positive and for the other is negative, which shows rise and falls in uh, price. The next uh, plot is another scatter plot which shows the relation between volume and open price. It's obvious here that when the price goes high, the volume is also uh, becoming low and low, which uh, there is a slight tendency to the right when the uh, price comes down which we can interpret that when the price is low, the traders are more interested in trading, entering the market. So far, uh, we haven't used any machine learning model, which here uh, I'm gonna use k-means, and we just uh, have some visualizations over our data set. But from now on, uh, I'm gonna use k-means and uh, cluster our data set where we are gonna have some groups or segments to put the similar data points into one category that's what k-means does but uh, I used two different approaches not different to two approaches toward clustering the first one which is the simpler one. Uh, I just used K-means model over our current data set. But for the second approach, I used pre-processing techniques like rescaling and reducing dimensions before clustering. We have the first approach here. I instantiated our K-means model. Here you can see that I used a number of clusters equals three. I picked three as our K value. I fit the model and here you can see the clusters or segments or better to say labels. Here we have the 
plots just to visualize what we have here we have two subplots in the right plot we have volume and open price scatter plot it's uh, obvious that we have three categories we have three segments which is really cl clear but in the left plot it's not like this it's not distinguishable you cannot distinguish different segments from each other well, and this shows that uh, our k-means model are not performing perfectly we need to improve the performance we have a metric which is called inertia or SSE SSE stands for sum of squared errors uh, which shows the performance of the model and here this value shows that the performance of our model is not good so we need to do something to improve our uh, improve the performance of our model what i picked here uh, i used three steps the first one was standardizing the data using standard scalar from scikit-learn library and then i used pca modeling uh, PCA is principal component analysis which we use for uh, reducing the number of features which in our project we have five features two desired ones which we need two features we choose two features just to make the visualization and analysis easier because it's easy to visualize uh, in two dimensions rather than five dimensions and then we need to find the optimal k which we use elbow method and then we can model for pre-processing i used a pipeline from scikit-learn library in our pipeline we have two stages scalar and pca first i fit the model and then i transform the model here we have transform data set which has two features 1258 entries or rows and two features and then here i used another pipeline just for uh, k-means clustering as you can see here i have not used any k value because we are going to find the best k value later but before uh, going to the modeling part i just want to explain a little bit about pca or principal component analysis uh, method pca uses weights to assign to each column or feature and it gives us components which here uh, let me show you here i chose number of components to two which means I want uh, PCA to reduce the number of features to two because we need two dimension data set. Uh, PCA component in our um, project is an array of two in five and each element of the array indicates the weight of the corresponding original feature in the principal component. Here I pulled out uh, the component from uh, our pipeline as you can see we have two components here which shows the weight that PCA has assigned to these components here it shows that we have two components and these values are the way that PCA assigned to different features and finally gave us two components I used heat map just to visualize better the relation between these uh, weight values and our features this is our first component and this is our second components for the first component uh, we can see uh, that uh, price price features were more impactful on our data uh, we can see that the first component is more affected by these prices rather than volume because the volume is 
um, really low here and the uh, color is violet and for the second component we see that uh, the second one is more affected by volume which is red and red is almost one which is a hundred percent relation but for the prices the relation is not that much so the fir uh, the first uh, the result is that the first uh, component is more affected by price and the second component is more affected by volume okay let's keep it here and then we have finding uh, optimal k by using elbow method here i used the range of 1 to 10 just to test different k values as we see here the more we increase the k values the less inertia or SSE error we have but that doesn't mean that we can pick any value for k it is usual uh, that in elbow method uh, we pick the elbow point here we can say that elbow point can be two three or four I tried those values and then I chose three as a best value here you see that I instantiated our uh, k-means uh, model with optimal k again fit the model so after this um, clustering model let's see what we have here we have a plot our plot is two-dimensional we have first principal component which we talked about that earlier and we have second principal component which is more related to the volume the first principal component our uh, component is more affected by price but how we can interpret how we can explain this plot this is scatter plot which which shows three segments here is our result if we look at segment zero segment zero is the blue part we can say that the average price has the average volume this axis was related to the price because it was our first principal component and this one was volume so this is the average price and average volume in this plot the segment one which is the orange one shows that the higher the price the lower the volume is this is uh, here the price is high and then the volume is less than these two parts okay segment two which obviously is the yellow part the lower the flies the higher the volume would be yes we have three segments after using k-means model and we can easily interpret this uh, chart okay thank you